Right, just going to show you about this uh, Ford Transit Connect that's got a terrible whistle from the engine. It's gases escaping from the exhaust manifold. When you hit the throttle, you hear a loud squealing noise and it gets louder. It's because your manifold has come loose. And I think it's quite common on these cars. They have a bit of a problem with the nuts on the engine uh, exhaust manifold working loose. Okay, so we just look at the setup and then we'll go through a video in a second and just show you the car itself and what we did to fix it. But you might be interested because I looked online, I couldn't find anything uh, showed me how to do it. So here we go. So first look at the arrangement here. You can see <clears throat> is the exhaust. Okay, so on the, um, actually perhaps if we look at the other picture, it might be a little bit better. If I just send that to the back. There, so there's the, there's the um, this bit up here is the inlet manifold. Um, turbo on the side that pipe goes off to the intercooler above the engine so this is the top of the engine here that's the left of the engine this is the right of the engine these are the eight bolts one two one two three four and there's four diagonally opposite those as well so there's eight bolts some of them are bolts and some of them are nuts okay now um they are studs, and we did have one where the we undid the nut and the stud came out, but generally the stud stayed in the block all right. And they're quite short, so if you loosen off everything else that's holding this down, you can, by unconnecting the rubber on the back of the exhaust, just pull the whole manifold, exhaust, and turbo back, all right? So um, that's the manifold, and then this is the side of the engine where you can see here, where they've illustrated the, the, uh, the engine. And there it is, mounted into position without the turbo bolted on. The turbo bolts, I'm sorry, the, uh, the, without the, that's actually the version without the turbo, if you notice. This one's got a turbo on it, and that one hasn't. But that's where it mounts on the engine. So if we just go look, look at this now. Put that over there again, over to here. You can see that's the arrangement. So that bolts on the bottom of the turbo. There's your catalyzer there. There's the downpipe that goes to the rest of the exhaust system and out the back of the car. All right. Now, what we had a problem with is this small bracket. We had this whistling problem five or six weeks ago, and we tightened all the nuts up. We thought, oh, they come loose. But six weeks later, you know, it um, it came back again the whistle, and it turned out that this bracket down here, this onto this area here on five A two O four. Um, bolts to the engine block, bolts to the back of the engine block, so it supports the exhaust, the catalyzer, and the bottom of the manifold to hold it rigid in alignment so that any force on here is transmitted to the engine block rather than being forced through the manifold, swinging backwards and forwards and making the nuts come loose, all right? So let's just cut to the video um, and I'll show you a bit more about it. Oh, there's one other thing, is that from the top you can see this thing, you can see this, this is the exhaust gas recirculation uh, cooler so that's your water from the engine goes in and out of there the hot gases throw through there and it cools the gases before they go back into the engine to make them less um, to make them denser and this is bolted to the back of the inlet manifold and by removing that joint there this one that one there it pops apart don't drop the gasket taking those two bolts out and then taking the two bolts up here which bolt into the back of the inlet EGR valve you can push that back out the way and get a lot better light and visibility from underneath if you do that so you might want to uncouple that from the top of the engine at the back using that bolt that bolt two bolts um, split that one there so that pipe's just left standing on top of the, the, um, the exhaust manifold and then you can get better access from underneath but now we'll switch the video and we'll go under the car and I'll show you Right, we've got a bit of video here for you, just might save you a bit of time. It's a Ford Transit con Connect, what size engine has it got? 1.8 TDCI. Got, a <laughs> got Jamie here, he's having a quick smoke break. It's his van, and we're just doing up on the ramp. And it was squealing. Can you give it the beans? Yeah, whistling. Whistling? Yeah, really bad. Really bad whistling. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Probably six weeks ago, we discovered that the exhaust manifold bolts were loose. All the nuts around the back of the manifold, up inside there. You can see them there, there's one. Um, and we spent some time this morning stripping out the top of the engine, hoping to remove the inlet manifold from the top, with the hope that it would expose and make our work on the exhaust manifold much easier. 
However, it transpired that there is some, there are some bolts in there. In particular, that one up in there, you can't get to from the top. So the first thing is the work that we did to try and remove the, the inlet manifold and the EGR and all that gubbins on the top of the motor was a waste of time. We're going to have to do it from underneath, and which we have got all the bolts out from underneath. Well, you need some kind of exotic little spanners, which I'll show you, but it is possible. But when we tightened it up six weeks ago, it cured the problem. And you can see that. You can probably see it on a bigger screen. I've got a small screen here. I can't really see what I'm seeing or what you're seeing. But anyway, six weeks later, it started whistling again and the nuts had worked loose. And what we noticed is that um, this catalyzer here, the cat, that big container thing here, you can see it's being wobbled now. Can you wobble that again, Jamie? Okay, so that's bolted onto the bottom of the turbo, which is in turn bolted onto the exhaust manifold. And what the root cause of the problem is, is this bracket at the front of the cat. Can you see that bracket here? This has broken. There you can see that the end of the flange, when we get it off I'll take a picture of it and you can see it, but it's um, the, the exhaust manifold has been supporting the whole exhaust. So as the engine flexes back and forth as you give it the beans and the, it rattles down the road, the bolts that hold the manifold on are effectively supporting the whole exhaust system and the catalyzer because the catalyzer is no longer bolted to the engine with that bracket. Had we noticed that at the time we probably, the bolts probably wouldn't have worked loose again. So we're going to, have to take this bracket off here and fix that bracket, bolt this back onto the engine. So at this stage we've taken all the nuts off the manifold. The manifold is now loose and we've got to take that bracket off, push the manifold back, put a new gasket on, bolt it in position and repair this bracket under here. And then we think with a new new gasket and the bolts tightened up and this bracket reinstated here to support the bottom of the uh, the turbo and the rest of the exhaust system it will stop that flexing that happens on the joint on the bolts and the studs that hold the manifold the exhaust manifold onto the block and uh, so that's the cause so if you find your exhaust manifold is whistling when you give it some turbo boost um, it's very loud you'll find that it might be this bracket under here so always check this bracket first so we're going to take it off and we'll, we'll come back to you when we are uh, when we fix the bracket put it all back together uh, but you can get all the bolts out from underneath but it's a struggle and there, as i say there's some uh, little spanners we've used we'll show you a picture of what you might need to get them out but it's perfectly possible to do it okay so anyway see you in a moment Okay, so there's the bracket. We welded a new plate on the back of it. You see it's completely sheared off on this side and uh, the bolt was missing out of both and that's why the, the manifold worked loose because the exhaust was pulling on the manifold. This is the bracket that goes on the bottom of the catalytic converter. So check that bracket is not broken because that was the root cause of the manifold consistently or persistently working loose. Okay, so that's your bracket. You need one of those. I mean, if you're doing the job, you might as well order a bracket from somewhere, but we, it's a weekend, we can't get one, so we welded it up. So here's all the gubbins we removed from the top of the engine. You can see that Jamie's just bolting the inlet manifold bolts back in, which we took out. But there was one we couldn't remove without removing the exhaust manifold, so taking all the stuff on the top of the engine off was pretty much a waste of time, although it did improve visibility somewhat. So we'll just tighten the manifold and put everything back on and then we'll go underneath and put the manifold bolts back in, put that bracket back on and then it'll be job done hopefully and it won't work loose again because it'll be supported. Fingers crossed. How awkward is it Jamie? Uh, I'll never buy one of these trunk vans ever again. <laughs> well you haven't worked on one of the other ones. <laughs> it's a bit of a struggle but it's doable but you just have to be persistent you have to have fairly good eyesight as well. Right, I said I'd give you a rundown of the tool we used, and this little socket set from Barco, it's about £15, and it's amazing, because it's got a very, very short spanner ratchet, and some very short 6, 7, 8, 10, 13 sockets on a quarter-inch drive. And once we cracked it open with the spanner, you can whiz this backwards and forwards, it's only about 2.5, 3 inches long, this little spanner, 
and it's a very low profile so you've got with the uh, drive attached which is that part there, there in the back of the box attached to the socket and then there you've got a very low profile socket and you know you can literally work the nuts down with a couple of fingers just um, and it's very very good ratchet on it so excellent little toolkit and I wonder if we'd actually been able to do the job yesterday without that so that's the main tools you'll need obviously you'll need a quarter inch uh, socket set with the different extensions and things and some long sockets too but this is a unusual toolkit um, bought for me by my son for Christmas and yeah it's a great little thing you should get one of those because it'll make the job easier and all sorts of other jobs too and it, you can put it in your pocket literally anyway thank you for watching um, if you're doing your Ford Transit connector then good luck and if you can leave me a like and subscribe I'd like that too because it rewards me for helping you out